Parliamentary Representative for Ancillary Canaries, Honorable Wayne Girard, has reiterated his commitment to meeting the socio-economic needs of constituents. Among the priorities for Honorable Wayne Girard is providing quality health care to all constituents. We hear more from Rajvaru Lawrence. Officials from the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs joined Minister in the Ministry of Finance, Economic Development and Youth Economy and Parliamentary Representative for Ancillary, the Honourable Wayne Girard, on a walkthrough of the completed Ancillary Wellness Centre. The building, located in the heart of the village, will serve residents of the community and environs and will provide staff and customers with an improved experience. Assistant Principal Nursing Officer for Community Nursing Services, Alma Dolor, expressed satisfaction with the facility and highlighted comfort and ease of use among the many benefits of the center. We have the dental unit, we have pharmacy, very well um, done. We have the nutrition department, if many persons have been come, you know, asking for a demonstration room, which is very, very well done. And the place is spacious. You could see that the nurses are going to have enough space. Besides the nurses, we have the, the space for the, the units, like environmental health and so on. So this is a, a, a facility that is really, really at a standard that I know will the clients will be, will be satisfied, the nurses and other supporting staff will be well pleased to be able to work here and provide a service at a standard that the community will be well pleased and also the surrounding communities. Honorable Wayne Gerard noted the significance of the wellness center to treating the ailments plaguing the community. The important thing about a wellness facility is not just to deal with the injured, but also to impart knowledge and information to the community. Um, as you would see, there's a kitchen as part of this facility which speaks to the nutrition and the importance of nutrition. So going into the future, I think it's important that we utilize the facility not just to deal with the sick, but also to encourage um, people to take better care of themselves. So that I think is a very important fundamental part going forward. Not just dealing with the sick, but also preventing some of the issues that we are now seeing quite a bit of our, uh, our local residents are suffering, the non-communicable diseases, the asthma, the diabetes, um, the COPD. A lot of information could be imparted upon them right in this facility to help address some of those issues. Minister for Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, the Honorable Moses Jabatis, indicated that the facility provides an avenue for expansion of medical capabilities. I mentioned to the, to the team here today that the location of this facility right here in Ancillary gives us a perfect opportunity to begin to think about the treatment of snake bites and to begin to think about what capacities we can build locally, um, capacities in the nurses, the doctors, and the other healthcare professionals. And it's, it's, it's not too far-fetched for us to begin to think of a center of excellence, so to speak, um, for the treatment of, of snake bites and so on. And we know canneries, we know Anstory, we know this whole region, and we know about Federalos and so on. And this facility has the space, it gives us opportunities to develop all of those capacities. So we have to think not only of um, a health and wellness center in the traditional health center kind of thinking, but we have to go beyond this and to, to see what we can develop, not only for St. Lucia, but for the whole Caribbean. The National Insurance Property and Company Limited, NIPRO, facilitated the walkthrough of the Ancillary Wellness Center. From the Government Information Service, Roger Varro Lawrence reporting.